everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Brady gives now to Bond. And a little bit of space there, takes it inside the five to the three. Given four on the carry there, it's second and goal. One of the notes I had about LeGarrette Blunt coming out of college, he's not going to outrun you, but he will run through you. In these situations, near the goal line, made to order. Maybe they'll turn to his big frame again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Rob Gronkowski, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because yeah. he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so hard to stop. And that's where it really becomes difficult because you're exactly right. They know it's going to him, yet they still can't stop it. That tells you when you're a dominant player. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Got his man over the middle. This is quick. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They'll run the option left. And he is going to lose yardage here. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Back now in Foxborough. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Back out for another drive comes LeGarrette Blunt. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync. Because early in the game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets. And you might not block them quite the way you want to, but as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Blunt, the lone running back. Here's Brady. It's caught outright Amendola. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing now is Brady. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so someone well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Back to the air, Goff on second down. Surveying the field, a dump off for Mason. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now a play fake here on first down. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy? I put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it.
That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Here comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Third down now following the completed pass. They come out here in the eye. Here's Brady to throw. Deep drop. And he's got that up. Treads the tackle. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. And quickly, they get to the line. Brady now on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. A gain of four on the play, and it's a second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Well, an incomplete pass certainly doesn't look like a good play <laughs> for the guy throwing it today. As many interceptions he's thrown, he's got to feel a sigh of relief that the ball actually hit the ground and didn't go in the other direction. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, he's going to probably get away from them. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So it'll be first down here after the run. They'll run again with Blunt, and he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Now Brady. He's got the tight end, Vanan. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Call it a gain of five. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Open man, it's Manan. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw, it's Brady. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. After all the preparation, all the pre practice, a play like that will actually break. your heart they had everything they wanted just unable to complete it in the end zone a big time drop and the seemingly endless drive continues 
And they still need 10 yards here to find pay dirt. It's second and goal from the 10. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Martellus Bennett, the intended receiver. And fourth down coming up. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The D for the Pats. The Patriots heading back onto the field now. They had the interception last time led to a field goal. And kept points off the board against them as well. What a great way to end a drive. Take it away and set your offense up to put points on the board themselves. The only thing would have been better a touchdown. Now they'll be looking to get the stop and lead to that here on the next drive. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Over the middle, he hits Austin. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And a pretty simple completion there underneath, but a successful one for the offense. Partner doesn't have to be the big shots downfield all the time. Having that safety net underneath is a great thing for a quarterback. Goff on third down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And eventually take it down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. So he makes the grab, and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. All right, here we go. 319! 319! On first and 10, Goff finding time to the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much game than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He served the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. The intended receiver was Trey Mason, and it's third down. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Play fake to Mason. Gone. And that is incomplete. He was looking for the tight end, Lance Kendricks, there. Now fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been terrific so far. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Time for a break, and that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. We're back to see what happens after this.